for the Fire Economic Development Corporation. The time being 3 p.m. Monday, February the 20th, 2023. Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first, uh, call to order. Uh, 1A possible. Uh, we'll call impossible action on. Uh, excuse any absent board member. Roll call. Yeah, roll call. Mayor Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez. Commissioner Ricardo Medina. Present. Board member Reynaldo Perez. Commissioner Dr. Ramiro Caballero. Present. Board member Mario Liscano. Present. Board member Mari Moore. Present. Board member Michael Pacheco. Present. Mr. Perez, we have a quorum. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. Do we have a motion to excuse some members? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Has been moved and second to excuse absent members. All in favor signify aye. by saying aye. 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 Again, same sign. Motion carries. Yes, Mr. Chairman, 1B, Pledge of Allegiance and Invocation. Mr. Liscano, can you do us the honor? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your hands. Well, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to come together today as a board, Lord. We ask you that you provide us with guidance, wisdom, and with your your healing hand, Lord, that you provide us, that we may make the best decisions for not only the city of Far, but for our surrounding areas. Lord, we ask you that you continue to place your hand in favor over our city, our mayor, Dr. Muros Hernandez, and our city commissioners. May you continue to bless each and every one of us, and may you please protect our public servants. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Descano. Uh, number two, uh, any public testimony, Ms. Garcia? No, sir. Okay, we move on to number three, uh, 3A, PC, PDC, number two, events of interest, Ms. Karina Lopez to share with us. Hi, good afternoon, board. I am here to announce the events of interest. We are having a re rescheduling of CNJ Logistical Services groundbreaking. It's gonna be scheduled for February the 24th, uh, which is on Friday at 11 a.m. We hope that you can join us. Um, they are actually just expanding within our community and they've been in the city of FAR for over 20 years. Uh, the new facility will total 48,000 square feet and uh, the initial capital investment of over 3.2 million uh, with the uh, potential addition of 10 to 15 new job opportunities in our community. And they are gonna be located at 9103 South Austin Drive here in the city of Far. Next, we will be having a groundbreaking for South Texas Health Systems. They are having a groundbreaking to celebrate the expansion into our city of Far. And of course, this will be a freestanding emergency uh, department and it will have the capacity of treating the general emergency cases on an outpatient basis and observation care with less than 24 hours. And of course, the facility is set to provide over 24 healthcare employment opportunities in our community and they are scheduled to open by winter of 2023. So we hope you guys can join us. It's gonna take place Thursday, March 9th at 10 a.m. and the location will be on Ridge and Cage uh, here in the city of Far. Any questions? Okay, moving on to the next item on the agenda, item 3B, PEDC2 Business Grant Program. So while we currently provide incentive support for the development of some small and mid to large businesses within the city of FAR, we're now excited to announce that the FAR EDC will be launching additional support specifically for our small businesses and our mom and pop shops. So as you know, small businesses do continue to be an integral part of our community by spurring employment, providing access to local products and services, and fueling our economy by keeping disposable income and tax money within our communities. So for this reason, we'll be introducing a small business grant and reduced interest rate program for qualifying businesses that are looking to start, relocate, or expand within the city of far limits. So the programs are set to launch, launch, I'm sorry, mid to late March of 2023. And we're currently working to make an official announcement along with additional support to secure that we effectively reach current and potential entrepreneurs and business owners here in our community. So we do encourage the community to keep abreast of our website at faredc.com and our social media platforms at faredc for the official launch of the programs and the program gu guidelines. Will we be having? So we'll have um, three different programs, well, two different programs. One program would be the low interest rate for the loans program, and then the other one would be a small business program grant. So that grant won't be uh, payable back. Any other questions? Thank, Thank you so much. 
Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, board members, as you all know, we had been talking about this since I got here. Uh, we never had anything for small businesses, uh, any type of grants or loans, and so uh, it's been it's been a while that we've been working on this. Uh, we did do the COVID-19 grant program when COVID hit, and thanks to you all, several businesses got some assistance. And so, uh, again, as we talked to them, when they came pick up their checks, they were really, really happy that we were able to at least help them with something, and again, uh, we did that. Now this was pending, and now we got it going. Uh, as Karina mentioned, you know, it's something that the small businesses, so this will be one for a new business coming in, and then there's going to be another one for expansion of business or facade or whatever they need money for. So I think it's something that uh, we're going to be giving, g hearing some good public comments for, and then hopefully feedback from the community, the business community. But it's something that I think uh, we need it, we need to hear, and hopefully if it's just something we can help them with, I think it goes a long way. So again, uh, thank you all for the support. I think we had brought that item to you all, you all approved it. So now we're gonna get it rolling out to, to the public. So I uh, thank you all again for, for that support. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to number three, see the sales tax report. As you can see here, uh, rank number eight, uh, we, we're up to 11, 2.11% year to date, 2.32 compared to February last year, 2022. So we continue to again, stay in the positive. We were struggling, you know, uh, when you have the, uh, the, the number of sales tax that we had in the past it's it's tough to stay up but we're doing well and and if you see here um we're, we're we're doing great and we continue to 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 move up we have a lot of businesses that are coming be coming in and be helping us <coughs> how to uh, bring this uh, sales tax up uh, here in, in the city of far uh, you also have your rental and loan update report there's only two uh one is a, a loan one is a uh, lease uh, that we have out there so for your review if you have any questions uh please let me know Okay, if anything, we'll go to item four, consent agenda, requesting approval, uh, consent agenda, uh, consideration any on the approval minutes of January 16th, 2023, regular called meeting. So yeah. move. Do I second? A second. It's been moved and second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. against same sign, motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, five A and B, requesting to take to uh, secular session. Okay. At this time, uh, pursuant to section 551.071 through 551.087 of the Texas Government Code, we are hereby going into executive session, the time being 3.07. We're now uh, uh, out of executive session, going into a regular, se regular meeting, uh, the time being 3.25. Yes, sir, <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, um, on 5.8, Recommend uh, consideration of any and a letter of intent on for lot 6A. Recommend approval as discussed in the executive session. I make a motion we approve. Second. It has been moved and second. Any discussion? In all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against same sign, motion carries. Yes, sir. 5B, Mr. Chairman, consideration of any on project OASIS request. Recommending approval as discussed in the executive session. Do I have a motion? I move to this uh, as discussed in a consecutive session. Second. It has been moved and second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Again, same sign. Motion carries. Um, I just wanted to make a, a comment and uh, congratulate one of our members, uh, Michael Pacheco, is running for state commissioner, so I just wanted to congratulate him. So we have a motion for adjournment. <laughs> so move. We move in second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against him, sign. Motion carries. Pacheco, would you aye. like to say something? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> uh, 